Advanced agricultural technologies have made farming much more productive, safe, and environmentally friendly. Innovative ideas and intriguing concepts. Here are 15 farming technologies that are next level. Number 15. Aquabite. Managing a large-scale fish farm is by no means an easy task, and thanks to the fact that thousands of fish are typically kept in one pen, it can often be hard to determine many of the specifics surrounding one's fishy assets. However, Aquabite is trying to fix this problem by offering fish farms a high-tech camera-powered system that can pick up on not only how many fish are in a pen, but also how many sea lice are present, how much fish are eating, and how large the fish in the pen currently are. Aquabite can use this information to suggest feed amounts based on fish size and activity. This is useful because it takes guessing out of fish feeding and allows the fish farmers to make more informed decisions on how much food to give their fish. This ultimately leads to less wasted food and greater profit margins for the fish farmers, thus making it an all-around win-win situation. Number 14. Vents while Fitbits have typically been sported by humans trying to meet their 10,000 step a day quota, a company by the name of Vents has made a version of it for cows. Yeah, you heard that right. What Vents has done is create a device after being equipped to your cows can not only monitor their health and well being, but can also be used to contain them in a virtual fence while grazing and then direct them to go back to their pasture at night. And while this may seem a little over the top, it could potentially become a very economical, viable solution for many cattle ranchers. As not only does it eliminate the need for a rancher, vehicle, and dog to herd one's cows, but it also gives real-time info so that you can know at the push of a button whether or not a cow is sick and in need of treatment, or healthy and ready to be butchered. As a result, as these devices become more economically viable, they will likely grow massively in popularity. Number 13. Trap View Any farmer could tell you that pests can be the absolute bane of the agricultural world, and as such, they will often spray pesticides over their crops in order to scare away these creepy critters. However, farmers are not always aware of exactly which pests are attempting to eat away at their crops, and this is where Trap View comes into play. You see, this product is essentially a pest trap on steroids, as it not only catches bugs, but then photographs them and sends you the data in real time, allowing farmers to make an educated response that not only tackles the correct type of pest, but does so in the correct area of their fields as well. Due to this ultimately leading to them saving money on fertilizer in the long run and having less of their crop compromised due to insects, the trap view certainly is a good addition to the majority of farms. Number 12. The Self-Driving Tractor Let's face it, when we think of a farm, one of the first images that comes to mind is a farmer driving a tractor. And while this may in fact have been common to see at farms decades ago, in recent years the agricultural industry has begun to shift from drivable tractors to completely automated ones. Manufactured by a number of companies that include, but are not limited to, John Deere, Fent, and Case IH. These tractors navigate by using lasers that bounce signals off several mobile transponders located around the field, and at times they will be controlled remotely by a farmer sitting in the comfort of their own home. They are also often equipped with a number of sensors, which allow them to stop for obstacles and thus not pose a safety threat to anything around them. As a result, we wouldn't be surprised to see these convenient vehicles surge in popularity as more and more of them enter the market. Number 11. Full Harvest Put simply, food waste is one of the biggest issues in the agricultural industry. After all, it's estimated that 20 billion pounds of ugly produce go to waste each year, with this amounting to massive amounts of water, methane, and potential nutrition simply being left uneaten. Yet while farmers are often unable to sell imperfect produce to grocery stores due to its low market value, Full Harvest is trying to change this narrative by creating a B2B marketplace where farmers can connect with consumers in order to sell off produce that they otherwise would have had to throw away. The system essentially works almost like an online shop would, as farmers will post their surplus food and then, once they receive an order, ship it out to the customer, with the farmer getting paid instantly by Full Harvest for this effort. As a result, Full Harvest makes it possible for farmers to make profits off of what is essentially their garbage, making it a true win-win for all parties involved. Number 10. The Terracentia As robots have become more and more popular around the globe, they have slowly crept their way into agriculture. And while there are many examples out there, one of the best is the Terracentia robot, made by EarthSense. Essentially, this small robot rolls between the crops in a farmer's field and uses a combination of sensors, visual cameras, LIDAR, and GPS to collect data on plant health, crop physiology, and stress response based on measurements such as stand count, stem width, and plant height. 
It then uses these metrics to give detailed reports to farmers, allowing them to make better decisions regarding the management of their crops. Best of all, not only is it self-learning, but is also programmed using a cloud platform, which ultimately allows it to be given new updates on a rolling basis. And when you consider that its developers are currently finding ways in which Terracentia can measure early vigor, corn ear height, soybean pods, plant biomass, and plant diseases, it becomes clear that this robot truly is a grade A machine. Number 9. Cray Technologies Agricultural Drone Typically speaking, labor costs tend to be a major headache for many farmers, as it's often quite expensive to pay workers to plant, water, spray, and ultimately harvest crops. However, Cray Technologies has made this no longer a problem by developing the world's first digital and fully unmanned drone crop sprayer. It essentially works by flying over fields and using sprayers to deliver on-demand fertilizers and pesticides right to the farmer's fields, with the machine having the capability of servicing just south of five square kilometers of crops per day. Yet rather than simply spray arbitrary amounts of fertilizer, the agricultural drone is programmed to visualize a field in 3D, allowing it to give the exact amount of fertilizer necessary at the exact times that is needed. Best of all, it can be preset so that it can be automated to fly without any human interference, and due to its hybrid computer vision system, it can detect obstacles and reconstruct the terrain 100 meters ahead with 10 centimeter precision. As such, we wouldn't be surprised if we see these in an increasing number on farmers' fields in the near future. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Bounty Gel Classical convention would tell you that nutrient-rich soil is essential for food-growing conditions. And while this is true, Bounted Gel has been on a mission to make crop yields high, regardless of whether a field is experiencing a wet or dry spell. That's because Bounted Gel is a soil additive that, in both its powdered and granular forms, uses a proprietary technology that results in soil that absorbs up to 150 times its weight in water, while maintaining its mechanical strength. It essentially works by holding excess water near a plant's roots in reserve so that if a dry spell occurs, it can then release the water into the crops and keep them from drying out. As a result, this continuous watering reduces seed and plant stress between irrigation cycles and can improve crop yields, with it reportedly working across a wide range of crops and soil types. In fact, researchers at UC Davis found that when this additive was used, it led to a broccoli crop becoming 30% larger, despite using 25% less water, proving that the product truly does work. To top this off, when you consider that Bounty Gel is completely eco-friendly and can last for three years before biodegrading into the soil, it becomes clear that this additive is a sure investment. Number 7. Trace Genomics While genetics is a field of study that is typically dominated by both humans and animals, Trace Genomics is a company with a mission to extend genetic monitoring to a farmer's soil. Essentially, the equivalent of a dirt-based 23andMe, it helps farmers eliminate guesswork by definitively determining whether or not a patch of soil is too degraded to grow crops on. How does the company do this, you may ask? Well, first they start by analyzing the soil's biology, by applying proprietary soil DNA extraction and sequencing to index and quantify millions of microbes within it. From there, it uses the power of machine learning to decode these microbes, using data analysis to compare the soil sample they collected against a large and growing set of soil data. From there, Trace Genomics combines the soil's biological data with its chemical data to create a report on how strong the soil is. This ultimately allows the farmer to decide whether or not growing on a certain plot of land will be profitable, thus ensuring that farming the area won't be lackluster, but will instead be both efficient and economically viable. As such, despite it being founded in 2015, Trace Genomics has seen stellar growth since it was first brought to market. Number 6. Indoor Vertical Farming in recent years, a very interesting new concept known as indoor vertical farming has taken root in more urban environments with limited land space. In essence, this involves building up rather than building horizontally in regards to agriculture, as it encourages individual households and small growers to use growing shelves in order to create a controlled growing environment. Now, these shelves are rather versatile and can use anything from traditional soil to more advanced techniques, such as hydroponic growing, where vegetables are cultivated in a nutrient-dense bowl of water or aeroponic growing, where free-flying plant roots are systematically sprayed with water and nutrients. In any of these three cases, the crops are generally given nutrients via artificial grow lights, with it being possible to use sensors in order to regulate and track the temperature, humidity, and nutrient levels of the crops. 
As a result, it has been estimated that this type of farm uses 70% less water for the same amount of output than a regular farm would, and generally speaking, leads to larger crops per resource used. To top this off, this type of farming is also very economically efficient, as the labor involved is typically much cheaper, and the transport costs are marginal due to the ability to implement vertical farming techniques practically anywhere. As a result, vertical farming really is a good way to combat the land and labor shortage in the agricultural industry. Number 5. Satellite Imagery While satellites may typically be associated with space travel and your Wi-Fi, it turns out that they have a major role to play in farming as well. That's because a number of companies now offer satellite service to fields that can give farmers round-the-clock information about their crops from an aerial perspective. Now, these services typically work by charting fields with 3 to 5 meter resolution imagery and then using the data to determine a number of variables regarding crop health. In particular, they use metrics such as the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, Canopy Chlorophyll Content Index, and Modified Soil Adjusted Vegetation Index to assess the status of a field of crops. From there, the satellites can generate recommendations on how best to fertilize these crops, where chemical treatments might be needed, and perhaps most impressively of all, estimate crop yields before they're even harvested. To top this off, many of these satellites even have an automatic alert system, meaning that rather than just offering data, they will instead generate it for you. Interestingly enough, there is also a completely separate environmental service that is often offered by these satellite companies. That's because they can detect change in a landscape over time and thus be contracted by private individuals and governments to monitor areas of farmland that are close to ecologically sensitive areas and ensure their farming does not encroach on, say, a protected area. As a result, these satellites really have the potential to make farming not just more effective, but also more environmentally friendly. Number 4. Drone Data while drones may be typically used for such things as shooting a cool aerial video or messing around in the neighborhood, it turns out that they can actually be a very useful tool in the agricultural industry. That's because drones are able to work in a similar way to how a satellite would, taking to the air to take pictures and, more importantly, use a number of sensors in order to collect data on a given field. Now, the capabilities of these drones are rather impressive, as they can be outfitted with a number of sensors to measure everything from crop health to the amount of light crops are receiving. This information can then be transmitted to a computer analysis tool, which takes this data and then converts it to usable results and recommendations. It should also be noted that, generally speaking, drones are a lot more accurate than satellites, as they can fly much closer to the crops, and due to them being able to gather data on two to four square kilometers of fields in less than a day, they certainly are very capable on smaller plots of land. However, where these drones fall short is in their cost-benefit ratio. After all, drones are typically very expensive, thus making the business of flying them over fields to analyze crops expensive as well. To top it off, while their info is often more accurate than that of a satellite, it is also quite limited in terms of scope due to their inability to fly over very large distances. As a result, they're not always the best option for larger-scale farms and are typically better to be used to complement rather than replace a satellite tracking system. Number 3. Bove Control when it comes to the sheer quantity of animals dealt with, the industrial cattle farming industry is a bit of a nightmare, as the sheer amounts of cows that have to be raised, butchered, and slaughtered can lead to severe inefficiencies in regards to not only meat and milk production, but healthy genetics-backed breeding. However, both control, which has coined itself as the Internet for Cows, has made these problems a thing of the past. That's because this app can track nearly every aspect of your cattle business with it tracking everything from the cow's age and size to more intricate things such as nutritional facts, sanitary information, and ultimately the shipping of meat and milk products. But how does this work, you may ask? Well, the farmer starts first by putting in basic info about each cow, with this including data such as dates of birth, vaccinations, medications, pregnancies, and weight. The app then uses tattoos, ear tags, or implanted chips to track each cow, with this information constantly being collected and put into both control system. Once this data is collected, both control can then produce graphs and timelines that outline the status of their animals, allowing ranchers to make more informed decisions on what actions to take. As a result, both control has found that it's able to make each animal as healthy and, by extension, profitable as possible. With the company estimating that it can increase meat yields by 1.5 kilograms per animal per day, milk yields by 30 liters per animal per year, and can reduce the amount of mislabeled animals by about 1%. As a result, this app has emerged as an industry leader in ensuring that cattle farming can be as productive as possible. Number 2. The Farmer's Business Network Put simply, running a family farm is tough, and 
be it buying seeds, selling crops, or purchasing machines, small farms have perpetually been in struggle to compete with massive factory farms. If the Farmers Business Network, or FBN, strives to change this narrative, that's because the Farmers Business Network is essentially an all-around tool to allow farmers to manage every financial aspect of their business with ease, as it has a number of features that allow small farmers to truly compete with the big guys. But what are these features? Well, the first is the app's price transparency module, which allows farmers to see the prices that other farmers pay for common chemical and seed inputs, helping farmers save an average of 19% off the median price of chemicals and 10% off the price of seeds. However, the FBN doesn't just help find cheap seeds, but the correct seeds, as it gives users access to yield and price information on over 1,400 seed varieties, which ultimately helps farmers to, on average, increase their yield by 18 bushels per acre when they select the variety recommended by the platform. Yet beyond these inputs, the FBN provides more tech-related services as well, with the most notable being access to free satellite imagery that enables farmers to more easily monitor their fields, which on average saves the farmers roughly $2 per acre on satellite imagery fees. But to top this off, thanks to the network having close to 14,000 active members, farmers can bounce questions and ideas off of each other in order to make the best business and agricultural decisions possible. Yet best of all, while this service usually costs a small fee per month, for a limited time, FBN has made this system absolutely free for all farmers. So if you happen to be a farmer and would like to try it out to see if it works for you, then the truth of the matter is there's no better time than right now. Number 1. Cover Cress Throughout the Midwestern United States, fields typically undergo a two-crop phase, where they first grow corn, then soybeans, and then corn once more. Now this system has been proven to work, and it ensures that the soil's nutrients remain stable while also giving farmers consistent annual income. However, in the winter and spring months, it's typical for these fields to remain bare, thus making them not only susceptible to nutrient loss, but also a profitless asset for the farmers that own them. However, Covercress hopes to change this situation for the better. You see, Covercress is essentially a proprietary crop that is derived from Pennycress, which is a native plant in the Midwest. Now, typically speaking, native pennycress has high levels of uric, fiber, and sinigrin, which work to limit its usability as an oil or grain crop. However, the geneticists at Covercress are in the process of converting this rather plain plant into a crop that produces an oil that has proven to be very high in protein and quite similar to canola. What makes Covercress special is that it not only has the potential to be an attractive product, but it's also meant to be grown during the winter and spring months, when nothing is growing anyways. According to the company, Covercress is very easy to grow, as it simply can be planted onto fields in the fall and then harvested in mid-May, where it can then be processed while soybeans are being planted. Best of all, due to it covering what would have been bare ground, it helps prevent erosion and soak up nitrogen pollution, while of course making a tidy profit for the farmers growing it. As a result, we hope this new high-tech crop will one day be a staple throughout the Midwest. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.